That was back when server room was a horrible spawn too. <laughs> it looks like we're live right now. No one's saying not live, so we are starting this match in NS2 Summit with close spawn positions, aliens flight control and marines in sub and with me Ryan and co-casting. Get a initial contact here in computer lab, and I see Payne is going gorge, and that's been part of that plane you were talking about. Yeah, that's right. So Duplex is going for a fast gorge. Um, they want to defend the first two nodes, um, the starting node plus the first node they will build. And this time they did assist in the right direction. And what a good point would be here from there is after dropping the node, gonna expanding to H room. And we'll see if it's gonna be fast upgrade or fast second hive. Aliens did a great job of winning that contact there in Crossroads. Yeah, that's right. It's really important. It gives them map control so they don't, they cannot go. Well, I'm a little yeah. surprised to see Exertus building the uh, res node in Computer Lab. That's going to be very hard for them to hold with the alien spawn so close. I completely agree with you there. That's a risky one to hold. And oh, look at that crossroads. Elmo against three Skullics alone. Yeah, these uh, Exertus is not doing a great job of grouping together this round. Uh, they're getting 3 v one quite a bit. Looks like we're about to see some alien, or marine pressure on this alien RT though. They're defending too hard, I think. We have no one going for any res nodes. It's, yeah, 90 seconds in the game and not a single skull biting a node so far. But we have surround and a second marine in the hive and flight control. Yeah, that RT's down 40% already. Could be close one. Oh, but now we have some scouts coming. Nice job here by Light and Icefell taking this one out. And no chance for Timur. Looking at the map, we have five Resonauts already for those Marines. The Marines are getting up a six Resonaut right now. They're going to have six RTs up. It's Against a very impressive number for two minutes into the game. That's right. And if they're not going to be taken out, they will have a huge boost. Good. We have shotguns now researched. They can easily afford it. And we got fast mines. We didn't talk about that earlier on. But yeah, Xerius is going for really fast mines. They love those. If it lets them keep an RT up, it'll definitely be worth it. Uh, those mines can pay for themselves. Especially since the commander can drop them for only 5 res. Oh, and Payne is going down in crevice. They put up three hydras there to make sure this resonant will stay alive, but this whole tactic, I think, based on that, dropping hydras, they also had some hydras in the start position to defend the nodes. It looks like this node's really close. No. It's about half health still. I also got some chatter here with Ryvie coming up. <laughs> it's always fun to read those. And Marines are holding the pressure up. And we still have six Resonauts for Marines. Not a single one lost for them. Yeah, it's a pretty surprising number actually. Uh, usually at this point you'd see quite a few RTs down. It seems both teams are playing a little bit more defensively, but the Marines are still able to get six up, even though they're playing defensively. I'm really surprised they've been able to keep the computer lab up. I don't think that RT's been there. Well, it is at 42% health. There was some Skulk spiding it, but I think Subs and Chima went there, defended, and now they're putting some pressure up on flight control and pulling the whole alien team back to the hive defending. And the more they do that, the aliens, then they would need one single Skulk. Just go behind the enemy lines and keep constantly biting nodes and then avoiding marines where he can. Nice job, I, felt, I was gonna say, Icefelt's doing a great job. If you look at his kill death ratio, he's at 5 kills, 0 deaths right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the carry players of the team duplex. He also also often goes early lurk. We'll have to see if he will on this game too. He's 20 yeah, he's almost at that point. Uh, Lurks can be very good uh, using their ability to fly to get around the map and you know do some damage to RTs and just switch back and forth between a couple RTs and work on getting them down. Now we have some aliens on the other side of the map trying to take down some resonance, but it's a bit late. We're almost at a 5 minute mark. We already got 260 res gathered in total for Marines, and that's quite a huge number. Oh, nice job by Subs in flight control. Oh, the gorge is low, but they escaped.
Well, we've got 65 rest for aliens, so what do you think they will do? Drop a hive in Atrium? Atrium would be a little risky, especially now that there's a phase gate going up there. Um, yeah. They're, they're almost limited to going to crossroads and trying to hold that. Of course, that's a very hard room to hold. That's right, with the face get up, there's no way in hell now to drop that hive, it's too late. 71 res, he could have dropped that hive earlier somewhere, I think, or tried to use the res. He dropped some drifters, um, Iros, I think he's commanding, um, but they also lost some. Uh, it looks like we're having another marine push on that uh, RT, they really want to get that RT down, they've been focusing on it this whole time. It's a little interesting for duplex to only go for two RTs, most teams uh, go for three, but it seems like only having two allows them to defend them a little bit easier, so they haven't lost an RT yet. That's true, but on the other hand, they needed also some counter pressure on Resonance, that's what they completely didn't do. They just killed one Resonance in total. Even though they did not lose a single Resonance yet, um, you need to do some damage on the Marine Resonance, or they will just overwhelm you with high advantaged tech. And I still gotta point out, it's pretty impressive that they've held on to six, now five RTs for this long into the game. That's gonna give them a huge, huge res discrepancy to these aliens. That's true. Finally, we have two Skulks working on those nodes. They're going straight for Atrium, ignoring the noting reactor core, trying to take down that phase. Let's see how that will go while the rest of the team is holding flight control. There's still no Marine in Atrium. This phase gate might go down. They're sneaking up behind the mines, and there we go. They're already dropping Sith, they're ready to build in that place. I hope that uh, Sith doesn't blow those mines up and kill those skulls. Oh, Teemo phasing in, those mines help a lot. And a second Marine coming in. At least the mines are cleared out. I can't get the help on... Okay, the phase gets at 36%. And here comes the ice felt alert. Okay, they have dropped crossroads. We have a hive up in crossroads. Yeah, they just realized they cannot take down Atrium anymore. They need that second hive up. They need leap. They need something. They have celerity. They started with that upgrade, but they really need leap to do something against, especially against those heavy upgraded marines. Look at that weapon two is already on the way. We got an advanced armory and armor one up. Uh, that's something we see a lot by Exerters, positional gameplay, dropping the face, getting Atrium, not in data core, not bothering with that, just trying to lock down the closer position so it's harder for aliens to reach data core. Uh, this hive has not been spotted yet, they're doing a great job of sort of keeping the pressure elsewhere so the marines don't check in there, but they, they have to expect it at this point. They might, yeah. The commander might think about that. Um, aliens do not have an, a different location than Crossroads. Might have checked it. Uh, maybe that's a little mistake here by Squirrelly. Uh, they did drop a, another command chair in uh, Atrium. That's going to allow them to start working on... Okay, their Crossroads hive was just ping. <laughs> yeah, just so as we and, talk about it, yeah. And they're dropping a the phase gate there. They're going to try to quick build that phase gate up. Pain is not putting the pressure on that it needs to be. Yeah, they need to, they, they need, yeah they need to distract them from building at least. The power is not up though, so that phase gate will not be active until they get the power pack up. That's right, and the power pack is just right behind it, and as long as this is not up, Elmo is building it, they have to attack. Where are the aliens? They need to go, they need to go before it goes up. Joe's is going alone, Pain is not reacting, coming too late there. Phase gate is up, let's see if they can get it down. They might, If they're smart, they might work on that power node first, it's a little bit more vulnerable, they can get it down faster than the phase gate. Oh, and there's a lot of more marines coming in here, and I think uh, this looks really bad for aliens. So unlucky, and the hive it does grow up. It is grown now, and there should well, be a leap on the way in a second now. Now the alien should be spawning in crossroads. The egg system is supposed to favor the hive that's under attack. Yeah, you can just see pain just spawned in there. That's right. Yeah. That will help them a lot defending there. They need to pull up everything here. They need every skull, every alien. I think right now they cannot afford having one single skull fighting resonance. They need to defend crossroads. Oh, just two marines the whole time, They're holding strong the position. Now we got the whole marine team in there. I'm most surprised they did not start leap research. In, uh, even if that second hive went down, they, uh, they'd still get leap research, so there's no point in not doing it right now. That's right, they're sitting on over 60 grass, and with just one hive, there's no way of spending it, so... By now I, I, that is the downside to uh, 
the commander dropping out of the hive is you sort of lose timing on stuff like that. That's right, but someone could have just press E, start it, and go log out again. It's not a big deal, but there goes the hive crossroads, and I think with it the game. Oh, we got also some gel firing up. Looks like a Oh, they redropped Atrium. It must have got ghosted earlier. Uh, they're probably wanting to get those phase gates researched, and they have so much resources that they just, you know, need something to blow it on. So might as well get a jetpack going. Yeah, that's right. They got constantly six resonance, only lost three. For Marines, this is a good number. Just compare. They got together over six six hundred twelve resonance in total. It and looks like Duplex is setting up for a command chair rush and sub access. Probably a desperation move on their part. That's right. We got four people in computer lab. <laughs> yeah, but X service is not is is pretty smart. They expect this kind of move. I think you can see it. Just two players there, dropping some mines in the vent. I think and they finally took the effort to build up that uh, atrium command chair. So that's probably a safety move in case they lose the sub access one. So aliens realize duplex how bad the situation is they're in. Um, working on some resonance now, but. Yeah, it's all too late effort, I think. They won't I'm most surprised they haven't yep. have a ghost or a ninja hive drop. In fact, Exerters just <coughs> pinged data core to look for that. Um, you know, they they don't have much to lose right now. Might as well try to get it up. Yeah, that's right. That would be like one strategy we often also seen in competitive matches, even working sometimes. It's like pull off, um, drop the hive. Make the marines all go there, and if like four marines at least go there, you can counter rush the base and try to hit the ops as fast as can, and hope the commander will not be consumed, or at least buy some time by a beacon so they cannot take down the hive. Yeah, I think taking down the RTs at this point is a little. Too little, too late. Yeah, they needed it from the start of the game. I think it took like five minutes for them to take down some of those rest nodes, and it really hurts them. Marines can afford everything, they have so many upgrades. And P rest for weapons, too. Oh, why are we along against the shotgunner? Close! Armor one, armor two, helping him a lot. Soups. I think there's tons of mines all around the map. Not just on the face gates. They're dropping it on random places too, on res nodes. That's how much they swim in res, and that's really a pain in the ass for those aliens to run around getting blown up a mine everywhere. Yeah, with six RTs at this point, and uh, they've held six pretty much this whole game, you can see the huge res discrepancy. We're talking about almost a three times higher for the Marines. It's going to be very hard for these aliens to come back. <laughs> yeah. That's true. And this attack on Atrium, a little bit uncoordinated. All three going one by one, unfortunately. I still would like to see a hive drop in Data Core. It's risky, but it, you know, it's, it, at least it's something. You know, They're just sitting <coughs> on that 60 res right now, not doing much. That's right. You cannot do anything with that rest. That's the only chance they have, actually. Drop the hive somehow. Hope that Exodus will do some big blows, blunders, mistakes. And Iris is sitting in a chair, sitting on the rest nodes, and I think just migrating some drifters around the map with all the rest he has. Whoa, big, oh, big, big push pack, yeah. That's right, five Command aliens there. And the same number of mines blowing off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That was a disaster. Icefall being the lonely survivor, that match. So, yeah, so we pretty much jetpacks are finished. 
the second or in two seconds and from there I think Duplex will realize that the game is pretty much over and it's just a matter of time I think when it will GG out. This is only one of three games so Duplex definitely has the chance to come back. That is right, yeah. How yeah. is the third game decided? I, I didn't read about that. Um, if it's a tie on the first map, if it ends 1-1, one, one, if Duplex win their Marine Round 2, they will play just one round and the coin toss will decide who will play Marines and who aliens. It looks like the Duplex team has a Ford. Yeah, GG. They saw the jetpacks and pressed a 4 button. <laughs> <laughs> Destroyer alone in Atrium. Last man standing. Or rather, Skulk. Looks like I finally get that phase gate down in uh, Atrium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. Nice match by Exerdus. Really convincing play. We will try to catch them.